guys, what's up? Welcome back to part 11 of the Slither.io tutorial series. I hope you guys are enjoying it so far. This is one of the last episodes. Um, and so in this episode, we're going to be working on this initial transition um, from clicking on it to the game mode. So if I click on it, it's a really just jumpy transition. And also if I go to the end and return, it just pops up um, and I don't really like that. So we're going to work on that today. So uh, what we need to do here is first of all, instead of simply changing our mode to game, we want to broadcast a message. And the reason we want to do that is because it's nicer to just do it separately uh, in, in like on the side. Um, and so we're going to change this to start game. That's going to be the name of our message. So we're going to broadcast this. Then we're going to say when I receive. And so I can just do the rest of the code here instead of being stuck inside that if loop. Uh, and so we're actually going to use this set mode to game, but we're also going to set our ghost effect to 60. Then we're going to repeat four times. And these are just anima animations that we're doing right now, a flicker animation actually. Uh, and, and what we're going to say is the order is important here. Um, we want to make sure that we are showing first and then we are hiding. And in between, we're going to wait a certain amount of time. So we're going to bring in this. We can say 0 0.15. Um, or sorry, 0 0.015. So actually way less time than that, a tenth. Uh, and we're going to bring this here and bring this after. So it's like a show, wait, hide, wait. And then at the end here, we're going to change that ghost effect because we kind of want it to disappear by 10 and change our size effect. Uh, whoops, no, we're not here. Change size, it's not an effect. Change size by negative 10. So we get smaller as well. So let's see how this looks. If I click here, you can see that we get a flicker animation. And I think that looks pretty cool. It's kind of like a techie, um, I don't know, just a different type of animations that's not smooth, but gives it uh, another cool feeling and something else for you guys to show off in, in your projects. So we get a flicker animation. And then we want to reverse that when we go back to our menu. So here, instead of saying set mode to menu, we can take that out and instead do a very similar thing where we broadcast a message instead. And we're going to say start menu. That's what we're going to name it. So then in our uh, logo sprite, right, the one that has this uh, start button, we can do a very similar script. And we can say when I receive start menu, let's set it to 40 this time. Um, or actually keep it at 60. That's important. Um, and set the mode to menu this time, right? Because we're changing it to menu. We're starting the menu. Um, and here we need to change some stuff as well. First of all, we want to uh, change ghost effect by negative 10. Or sorry, by uh, negative 10. So this actually doesn't need to be 40. Got confused there. Uh, so we need to say ghost. We're going to repeat four times, change it by negative 10. So it ends up at zero. Uh, and here we're starting at 60, repeating four times, changing by 10, so it ends up by 100. Um, if you don't understand what I just said, do not worry. But basically, you want to start 60 here, 40 here. So we change this by negative 10, and then here um, we're actually just going to delete this. And we want to change the order here because right now, after all the repeats, this will end up at a hide, right? Because that's the last thing that happened. So we actually want to reverse this. So let's see how this looks. So I can flicker. Nice click animation. If I go to the edge of the screen, then I'm brought back and we get an introductory flicker as well. So yeah, the main menu is basically complete. Uh, and yeah, I will see you guys in the next part, wrapping up the series and concluding Slither.io in Scratch.